All right, welcome back everyone. My name is Rajneesh Gupta. I hope you're enjoying this playlist so far. We have just completed uh, building our very first and very simple smart contract, Double My Money. And we have, uh, we have done that just by making use of a single function, okay? And uh, as you can see, we made use of, uh, in order to make that possible, we understood about what is account, what are accounts basically, not just one. Externally on account, which are for the users, which are for the users and smart contract accounts, which is owned by contracts, the contract account itself. We discuss about the functions and uh, in this case, what's really in this video, what we, we are really going to talk about is the state variable. Trust me, this is going to be fun. You will understand how the how you how the smart contract we can play across. We can define values. We can um, uh, maintain the state of the smart contract as well. And I hope I hope some of you can correlate it. If you, you know, if you have some sort of experience with Python or JavaScript and all those stuff, right? So we did, talked about visibility, of course, public, external, private, internal, and all those stuff. In this case, we'll be making use of one of these type. I'll keep it surprise for you. Uh, and we'll get to get to, to it once we start coding it. All right. We'll talk about the variables because this is all about state variables so we'll be covering the state variable for this session okay local variables are the one whose scopes limited inside the function okay um, they there's no even if you have the same variable outside a function you don't overlap okay but state variables are the variables which maintain their state throughout the contract even if they even if they pass is one function another function they maintain their state they maintain their value if one function uh, the variable value got incremented by one in the next function you see the the existing value will be one if you add two into it with the next third function the value of that variable will become three right so that mean, that means state variable maintain the state of the, the entire uh, you know entire value in fact global variable is the variable which basically talk uh, with the block uh, with the blockchain network itself it talk on the transaction level so uh, global variable is the variable which connects uh, which can connects to your smart contract with your underlying blockchain network we'll talk about it don't worry okay so without taking much time let's get started with our remix all right so we are on our remix at this moment now this is the code we used when we when it was very very basic right there wasn't any variable used right and for some of you who might might have understood variable in a different way just to give you a recap variable is needed whenever you want to store a value into something and you want to make use of it maybe later okay so that's the reason we make use of a variable at this moment let's let's create one variable okay and uh, this variable because i i want this variable to store a number you know money itself so i'll keep it unsigned okay integer but unsigned so that it it's always be positive so i don't really have to care about it and i'll keep it public so that it can be called from external external uh, applications as well or across the smart uh, across the contract itself okay so i'll keep it balanced okay and so just think about it whose balance would be of course the smart contract balance all right so we don't really need the return because we want the we want the same thing to be done by making use of state variable so we want the state variable to store the value in spite of just function giving us the response of the value i know it might be confusing at this moment but i'll clear that out don't worry about it okay let me cancel it okay let me close that some of the unwanted stuff so 
we created a function double my money we of course need some value from the user we'll keep it public and if you remember we need visibility and we need type right we can either have view or pure we made use of a pure because there wasn't a, we want we was we were not really looking at the value of the state variable okay but in this case i'll show you something in this case we are actually going to update the value of our state variable this is our state variable and what we are actually going to do is our state variable will be uh, will be updated with some number and that number is amount that number is amount into two right and if we keep it pure see what's going to happen so this is our contract we have to go to compiler and we have to compile it right now what's wrong here is to think okay first of all we don't have the curly brackets to complete this contract okay but even if you even if you do that the challenge here is you get an error saying that uh, it's a type error saying the function declared as pure but the expression is potentially the uh, required non payable which is not good practice the reason is if you keep it pure that means your function cannot view the state variable that means they cannot view the balance okay that means it cannot view the what actually the current value of the balance that's why you need to keep it view okay and even if you don't do that it's, it doesn't matter okay it's by default view, view and but now when you compile it it's gonna work you see this it's that beautiful okay but make sure you uh, choose your visibility and types wisely because everything costs gas okay so your pure doesn't cost half of the gas and your view cost uh, you know probably double the gas okay so this is done so what do you think what's gonna happen when you go to the transaction uh, deploy and run you choose of course your environment we'll definitely talk about injected web3 and web3 providers when we are actually going to deploy the real world application at this moment we'll select the first account the account which would be deploying the smart contract let's click on deploy a smart contract is deployed when you click on it what do you think what you get basically you are going to get we are you're supposed to get two buttons right this would be function and there is one more which is your state variable because it maintains the state and that's in the public that means your ethereum remix can see that that's why you must see this two buttons right so you should be able to double the amount but the benefit is sorry but the benefit is you can always check the status of your account if you see earlier you were just you were just about to click on the button and there wasn't any state there wasn't any way where, where i can get the current balance right so let's say i just double my amount by 10 right or maybe let's say this time 20 okay um i click on it i get i should see the logs and in the logs the transaction should be initiated from the from account which is correct there's no difference from is correct to is the this is the uh, smart contract account number account number of this and of course the value should be incremented to this right now the point is now the point of the, the thing that we need really need to understand here is the balance should be updated this is the number we are talking about this has to be updated right so if we click on the balance button now it should be 40. why this happened because you entered a value to you know we, you entered a value 20 earlier we were able to get the response right we were able to see what's really happened and we have to look at the transaction log every time we check the log and we got the idea okay the money got actually got double but we now have a button wherein in the program itself you can anytime look at the current balance and if you go into it 
you can get to see the unsigned value which the 20 became 40 at this moment right mm -hmm. so this is how you create a state variable and remember this the value of the state variable uh, will 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 be persistence even if it crosses multiple functions all right so i hope you got the idea uh, if you have any question related to view what is pure and you know the visibility of the functions or you know state variables uh, we'll definitely be talking about it you can ask me in the comment i would love to answer that thanks so much